Hello, my name is Wang Luhan, and I'm a graduate student at China Agricultural University. In this video, I will present 3D point cloud instant segmentation of latitudes based on PowerNet, hosted in this year's CVPR Agriculture Vision Workshop. I will report in the following five sections. Fine grained segmentation of different parts of plant is very meaningful for plant phenotype research. But there are fewer studies on 3D instant segmentation for smaller sized plants, such as the tubes, and the dataset made by RGBD camera is less. Our method is shown in the figure. Firstly, we use the Azure Connect DK camera to capture plants to obtain point cloud and pre process the raw data. Secondly, we conducted research on automatic registration algorithm to complete the tubes reconstruction. An instant segmentation dataset was made based on the real and the virtual point clouds. An instant segmentation was performed based on the recursive neural network per net. As mentioned above, we proposed the instant segmentation pipeline of the latitude point clouds, as shown in the figure. The introduction of 3D deep learning frameworks PointNet, PointNet2, and other 3D neural networks provided new opportunities for 3D plant phenotype research. The tools was the object of this study. This experiment was carried out in the CIE plant factory of China Agricultural University. The Azure Connect DK camera was used as a data acquisition device. We used the camera interface provided by Open3D library to align the depth map to the color map of 2048 x 1536 pixels to obtain the high resolution point cloud images. The global point cloud images were obtained by registering the reconstruction of four or eight viewpoint point clouds according to the RASAC and ICP algorithms. For the tubes with smaller shape in the early stage of growth, we cropped and combined live instances in multiple single viewpoint clouds to replace reconstruction. However, the leaf stratification problem will be solved in future work. Considering that deep learning required high data quality and diversity in data size, however, the acquisition of real latitude 3D point cloud data, including processes such as latitude cloud vision and data processing and 3D reconstruction, was a time consuming and labor intensive task. We hope to reasonably introduce virtual plant point clouds as expanded data. We use the open source software Blender and third party plugin Grassword to create virtual 3D models of similar latitude plant. By adjusting the random seeds, growth period, size, and other parameters of the plant models in the plugin, we simulated different plant shapes. Next, the 3D data was labeled with the instant segmentation data site. The mu new segmentation function in cloud compare software was used to manually segment the point cloud into different live instances. After segmentation, each live point cloud was downsampled to 2048 points, and for leaves with less than this number of points, the surface was reconstructed as a mesh model using the ball painting algorithm. The reconstruction results are shown in the figure. The recursive neural network ParNet was proposed in 2019. It takes a 3D point cloud as input, performs a top-down decomposition, and outputs an instance-level segmented point cloud. The neural network is designed with three modules, as shown in the figure. The node decoding module is used for context propagation. The node classification module is used for hierarchical structure construction and the node segmentation module is used for point cloud segmentation. PointNet, PointNet2, PointCNN, and other networks have proposed efficient 3D point cloud feature extraction modules based on deep learning. In the PointNet structure, we try to use the feature extraction modules of PointNet and PointNet2 to extract point cloud features and analyze the impact of different feature extraction methods on segmentation results. The loss curves are shown on the left and all curves converge gradually during training. In the training set of 500 apples, the segmentation accuracy changed with the apple as shown in the figure on the right, and the accuracy reaches more than 0 0.95.
We visualize the instant segmentation results of power net on the 40 held out test site. And the results are shown in the figure. The data of leaf stratification achieved instant segmentation to a certain extent. It can be seen that there is still a phenomenon that two leaves were segmented into one class and one leaf was segmented into two classes. The segmentation result details are shown in the table. It can be seen that Point 2 performed optimally when used as a feature extraction module, achieving an average accuracy of 97.2% for instant segmentation and an IOU threshold of 0.25, and 92.4% and an IOU threshold of 0.5. This should be attributed to the fact that Point 92 learned the local features of the point cloud better. Our conclusion was divided into three points. Firstly, a multi-view reconstruction method was used to construct the real letters data site, and although leaf stratification appeared after down sampling and adding the processed data to the data site, the experimental results showed that the data site could be used for instant segmentation to a certain extent. Secondly, using Blender software to make a synthetic lattice like data site. This method implemented data site enhancement and ensured that the network was fully trained. Finally, we trained the 3D instant segmentation network ParNet on our 3D plan data site, consisting of a mixture of real and synthetic data and validated the performance of the model on the held out test site after training for 500 apples. Showing that the average precision reached 97.2% when IOU less than 0.25 and 92.4% when IOU less than 0.5. Thank you for watching our video.